Hello everybody, Mr. Stevenson here, and today I'd like to go over how to access primary source documents, uh, specifically written primary source documents. And before we begin, I want to talk about two things. One, why are we doing this? And two, what the heck is a primary source? So we'll actually start with the second question. What's a primary source? Quite simply, in the world of history, a primary source is any document, uh, printed or visual, that comes from the time period under study, uh, specifically from the event being studied, okay? So the textbooks some of us are used to reading, even uh, modern uh, monographs or works of history, uh, something like this. I just happen to be reading this book by Alan Taylor on the American Revolution. This is a secondary or even a tertiary third tier source. So it relies on documentation from the past, primary sources from the past. Okay, so when we look at primary sources, we're looking at documents from the past. And why are we doing this? Well, sometimes if you're in high school or if you're in college, higher education, a professor might ask you to utilize primary sources in your own writing and, and research. And that's my son right now. Hi, buddy. You have to be quiet while daddy's making the video, okay? So what I'm going to do is uh, share with you one of my favorite compendiums for primary sources. I'm just going to share my screen. And let's see, we'll go to the, okay. All you would have to do is head to Google and you can Google exactly what you see here. Fordham University's Internet History Sourcebooks Project. Like I said, it's a large compendium. Uh, one of many you can find online. Uh, even if you just do some quick searching, you'd find lots of similar websites. And when I say compendium, I mean a centralized location for thousands of, of these primary sources. And what we're going to do is go into, you see some time periods here, ancient, medieval, and modern. I'm just going to click on modern. And what we can then do is just by navigating the left-hand side of the screen right here, you can see it's organized by topic. So if you're in your syllabus for a, let's say, a contemporary world history class, and the theme is nationalism. You can click nationalism, and you've got a host here of primary source documents related to nationalism. And we could just click on one of these. Uh, let's see, Giuseppe Mazzini from Italy, 19th century. And we've got the, looks like the full text here, or, or at least an excerpt of the text, yeah. chapters one, five, and, and seven. So let's see, this sounds nationalistic, duties towards your country. And, and here we have it, right from the source. Okay. And you could you could read through this. And, and, and typically, the idea would be to uh, put some meat on the skeletal framework that is typically a textbook. And when I say put the meat, uh, listen to the voices who were actually operating in the time period being studied. Okay, so this is a really great website in which to do that. You can just navigate back and in your spare time, just browse around and, and see if there's anything that pops out to you. Again, it's organized um, along the lines of time at first. And then once you click on your specific time, it goes into uh, specific topics. So this is really, really helpful. If any professor or teacher ever asks you to weave primary source documents into your work, okay? Uh, so please, if you have any further questions or anything related to primary sources or, or how to search for primary sources, uh, just go ahead and look me up on Wisent and we can get started as soon as you're ready. Thanks for paying attention and have a great day.